Is it SCP? She's been in how long? Staring, she's been staring at it for three hours. Or is it three days? I think it was three days. It, it, you can see it smiling. It's just... Yeah. Like, there's, like, typically, like, crazy-ass fucking freak Could shit that's happening on the internet, but this is, like... Came across a real random it's, like, it's weird analog horror radical. along with it, just, like, in the style that they even make their videos is, like, super fucking unsettling. Check images in them. Is this an age play thing or something more sinister? Literally anything helps as I keep trying to look for answers. This post was made to the subreddit r slash Instagram by the user numeruscut792 on April 15th, 2024. It featured screenshots of three bizarre-looking Instagram pages they had encountered earlier that day, with OP expressing concern that something truly disturbing was happening with these users. And those in the thread agree. It's a real story, yes. What the yes. actual fuck? Yeah. <laughs> block them all. Truth Sticks 11 is seriously creepy to me. I've been trying to find more about them, but can hardly find anything. Very weird account, to say the least. The three accounts apparently belong to three different children. However, when combing through their posts, the content seems to imply something much more bizarre was afoot. Something truly disturbing. This post would be the start of a story that would eventually be picked up and shared all across the online world, becoming one of the more notorious internet mysteries in recent memory, as these accounts revealed an unending rabbit hole that is still being traversed to this very day, in an ongoing investigation into one of the most depraved oddities ever found on Instagram. This is the emerging story of Smart School Boy 9. Smart School Boy 9. No. Beautiful boy, an account looked after by me, a degree educated mother choosing to stay anonymous. This was the bio of the first account pictured in the Reddit post, an account named TruthSticks11, which was said to be operated by a 12-year-old boy and his mother. Back in October of 2021, <laughs> the duo would make their very first post, kicking things off on a somewhat concerning note, Me personally, I wouldn't though not that, for their own page, but personally. instead, another account on the platform. So, that's the account run by a man pretending to be a boy. <laughs> The video was created and posted by the mother for the sole purpose of warning others of a specific user who had been posing as a child online when, in actuality, he was a grown man who did this in order to get close to and exploit other children across the platform. It's the grim reality of this online world, as predators will do just about anything to get closer to children, and it's a reality often unrealized or even ignored by parents, which makes it almost refreshing that this mother was out here trying to raise awareness. These posts would become the crux of the account early on. They would call out this user and their many accounts again and again, eventually going more in depth about what this person would actually do, claiming that they had a strange perversion to dressing up as a young schoolboy. Does he wish he were a young boy in a school classroom, looking nice and being successful at school? Yes. This theme of calling out online predators would remain consistent throughout the years on Truth Sticks 11. However, after some time, the mother behind the account began to use the page for its initially intended purpose, to share photos of her son. The photos began reasonably normal, and would show this young boy studying at school, accepting awards from their principal, and even school presentations in which their son had attended, with the captions often boasting about how intelligent the young boy was. Though over time, the photos began to grow stranger. The fuck? They looked off, almost as if they were AI-generated, 
And on top of this, they began to appear heavily edited in an almost inexplicable manner, with deep red lipstick often being added, which was enunciated by his face being turned pure white. This unsettling trend would continue from here, as with each passing post, the photos grew less authentic and more surreal. Until they became straight up disturbed, even sickening. These bizarre edits spilled over past just the images too, and to appear as disjointed collages often showcasing multiple grotesque images and paragraphs about how much this user loved school. And this wasn't the only shift either. At some point, the son behind Ow. the account began posting content that allegedly came directly from him, saying things like, my really cool mom asked me if I'd like to post, and I said, yes, please. He even shared supposed videos that he had filmed of himself, which were equally as unconvincing as his photos, okay, dude. and somehow even more chilling. The boy even shows off his singing in one of the clips. Though their voice sounds off. Old? The account was overall anomalous and extremely off putting. And though this content was visually alarming, Who's another aspect this? made it even more so concerning as over time, many of the images began to resemble CP, showcasing these fake AI children in explicit positions, with their faces sometimes even being photoshopped onto scantily dressed adult bodies. One thing is blatantly obvious about the Truth Sticks account, the supposed child behind it is not real. Even in the more passable photos at the very beginning, there is evidence to suggest that these were likely AI as well. And based on the disturbed, borderline illegal content that this page featured, it seemed more than likely that whoever was behind this page was not an innocent mother concerned for the welfare of other children, but instead, a predatory individual themselves. And this wasn't their only account. The second page featured on the Reddit post belonged to a user named Girl Chloe 12 and bore striking similarities to Truth Sticks. The page was also supposedly run by a child and monitored by their parent. Bizarrely, they also posted frequently about the dangers of online predators, with the wording of these posts and the editing being essentially the exact same as Truth Sticks, just not as over the top. These two accounts even frequently interacted with each other, thus providing a substantial link on its own. But by far the most compelling link between these pages is one that is easy to miss at a glance, with that being a blatant obsession with high-heeled mini boots. Okay, dude. These shoes were mentioned or shown in virtually every single post made by these two users. At playtime, I'm sometimes running around with my really cool heeled footwear I wear with my uniform. After coming home All from right, school, education my nigga. isn't over for what the day once the blue blazer, gray jersey, neat tie, white shirt, tailored close-fit gray trousers, and black heeled mini boots are in the wardrobe. No matter what they discussed, school uniforms and mini boots were always a talking point, which adds confirmation to something that- Oh, this guy will never be able to go parents. outside. This motherfucker will get killed on this site. This is fetish content, not too unlike the bizarre accounts in the Pipergate rabbit hole. Fetish content centered around children, and what, what was that? so disturbing is that AI was seemingly not used, and rather, the images seemed to be of actual children. Despite this disturbing yeah. distinction, Apparently these two in the UK, are cut yeah. from the same cloth, and all signs point to them being created by the same person. A person who, despite their constant warnings of the dangers of adults pretending to be children online, seems to be doing the exact same thing, as part of some sort of fetish, the extent of which we'll discuss later. But for now, one thing was for certain. These pages were not run by children, or their parents. So, who created them? Well, that brings us to our third and final account shown in that initial post. Smart Schoolboy 9 was much the same as the other two accounts. They warned of online predators, obsessed over high-heeled mini boots and school uniforms, and posed as a child despite clearly not being one. But Smart Schoolboy was different in one key aspect. The person behind the account was pretending to be a child, but they were doing so in a much more apparent manner, as they didn't use AI or stolen images of other kids to form their identity. And instead, they used photos of... What the fuck? ...themselves. 
In the images posted on the account, we him? see what appears to be a fully grown man yep. dressed in a schoolboy's uniform. His face is painted pure white and has bright red lipstick, and he is, of course, wearing high heeled mini boots. Characteristics that were all utilized across the other accounts, only this time it was done on himself, as he poses as a child pretending to go to school, as well as pretending to go through other life events common for preteens. And the photos aren't even the most disturbing part, as the account consists primarily of videos. The videos are all incredibly well off-putting. Some show him arriving home from school. Maybe my exes weren't that bad. Others show him claiming to be on the bus heading towards school. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I'm on the school bus. And Bro. other videos showing him doing whatever this. What is this tongue shit? With these strange sounds and the process of sticking his tongue out appearing to be part of his fetish. As much like the other accounts, his content is overtly sexual. And it's only is it done? Way. I'm not. No. No. In fact, there's a video of him with his full outfit on where he shows himself staring into a mirror as he appears to pleasure himself right out of view of the camera as he stares into his own eyes. This account is by far the most sickening part of this whole rabbit hole, and also the most important. Interspersed throughout his page are a few examples of what this individual's voice sounds like. This is quite good. <laughs> which just so happens to be the same voice heard oh, in the very first so clip ugly! shown on the Truth Sticks account. <laughs> Man, pretending to be a boy. <laughs> Meaning that this full-grown adult man is the one behind this entire rabbit hole. He's the one on these accounts pretending to be a child and their mother, getting some sort of sick satisfaction from whatever this is. And the worst part is, these activities aren't just kept behind Leave closed doors. Rob out of this. As we okay, can see on numerous no. occasions, videos of him walking around outside in a public space with his full outfit and face paint on. Put that to me. It's truly one of the strangest things that I've ever seen, and making sense of what this all is is extremely difficult. But based on the information found from this first Reddit post, a few oh. likely conclusions can be put forward. This man is clearly attracted to the idea of being a kid, and I think OP was correct when they speculated that this was some sort of age play thing, but it's also clearly much more than that too, as based on the images that he's created himself, he clearly has some sort of attraction to other children as well, as he's quite literally created faux CP the likes of which is so disturbing that I can't even really describe it here either. He's creating fetish content, and he's using the likeness of children, and that? also some what? children that are clearly very Gosh. real people, to do so. That much is obvious. But there was also the possibility that he was pretending to be a kid in order to exploit other children across the internet. At this point though, this was merely speculation, with much of the smart schoolboy 9 case remaining a mystery. Does he have a and the rabbit hole was only getting deeper from here. Months after this rabbit hole was introduced to the online world, the story began this, to be shared all across the internet, most shit. notably on the r slash internet mystery subreddit, where the case really took off. There, internet sleuths began uncovering just how vast this web of accounts actually was, as it wasn't just these three pages. No, there seemed to be over a dozen, and likely even more that we still haven't found, as he's created his own sort of- Who is following this?! His own little world, where across each page he pretends to be a child. With these accounts typically following each other and frequently interacting, seemingly to make these characters appear as though they have Other than himself! Friends. The fact that he had 39 on followers! Pages, 12 Stockwell Joanne, he poses as a 14-year-old girl, using more AI images to depict explicit positions of this manufactured child, okay. which I obviously am not going to show here. Though much like his Chloe account, he also shows images of very real young girls. But this isn't the most concerning part of this account. As on numerous occasions, he's shown images of children at a playground. Okay, dude. Which he may have taken himself. 
This fantasy of being a schoolgirl and taking part in these school-centric activities is something carried over throughout multiple of his accounts, with his most common alias being Stephanie, of which he has numerous different accounts featuring that same name. 118 yeah. fucking... I'm Stephanie. Arrest them. Right now. This Stephanie character claims to be a 12-year-old aspiring poet, with accounts all across the internet, many of which showcasing examples of her poetry, which carries on those same distinct sexual undertones. I race to complete my poems when I've got an early start. Heart racing, mixed rhythm, maximizing miracle, rice with rap, and on the map, my Kennington, London syllable, dancing though I know my underwear might show if I lean forward. Yo! Stephanie Stansfield, 12. What? But digging even deeper, her poetry has even seemingly been no twelve-year-old even talks like that. Newspapers showcasing that this rabbit hole extends far past just the online world. This oh, act is clearly there. I was telling you, this is not like typical. With the earliest examples like these that I could find coming from all rings and shit that you find. This is like and this Stephanie character's actual cosplaying, alias, embodying it in even three B ash, as in one of his many pages dedicated to this Stephanie character. He dresses as her, wearing a wig and a dress, as he pretends to be a 12-year-old girl. Almost immediately after this case began gaining traction, the true magnitude of this rabbit hole was revealed. Across every single account are countless depraved posts and oddities that all could warrant discussion, but by far the most important discoveries were those that didn't actually occur on his own page, and rather, the pages of other actual children. Do you like school? I do. It is good. You have some cool shirts, but I have to wear school uniforms to school. It is nice, but casual isn't allowed, and it's quite hot here in the UK, as the month of June suddenly got warmer. These are two examples out of many that show smart schoolboy 9 reaching out and attempting to befriend young children online. In one comment, he even warns a child about other comments from bad people, stating that, It happens to most boys in our age group, but stay safe, stay cool, don't be dismayed by creeps. <coughs> this is our best evidence that these accounts weren't just made for age play. No, he's actually posing as a child in order to make friends with other children. And given his overtly sexual interests and aversion to CP, it's not hard to gather why he was doing this. And these examples are only what we've found so far. It's possible that there are dozens, or who knows, maybe even hundreds of other comments out there, hidden on unknown children's accounts. This is predatory behavior. The man behind Schoolboy 9 is a predator. And in case there was still any doubt of whether or not this was a sexual thing, here's what he had to say about being a 13-year-old girl. But have his tactics actually worked? Well, the frightening thing is, no one knows if he's actually been successful or not, or even what specifically he's looking for. We just know that he's trying to reach kids, as evidenced not only by his comments, but by the fact that he's solely following children on all of these pages. And though it's easy to look at these accounts and know that something is off, for children, it's not that simple, especially when there's pages showcasing photos of actual kids. Which brings up another frightening detail. Many of the images he's used of children have not been traced back to their original creator, and some seem to appear for the very first time online publicly on this man's pages, what which might mean that he was sent them doing? privately. There's even one image that David posted on his schoolboy account, which shows another kid that he claimed to be on a playdate with, though it's impossible to say if this is real or not. For now, we just don't know for sure. Though given the fact that he's reaching out to children, posting fetish content centered around children, and has even potentially photographed kids in the wild, one oh, thing is for certain, yeah. smart schoolboy 9 needs to be stopped. We ban him. Finding this man and reporting him to law enforcement quickly became the top priority for those investigating the case. And luckily, he left several glaring clues behind that made this process Mars. a whole lot easier. Added one electron on to his fucking his Adams. Pages, he would post images and videos <laughs> of specific locations, even showing streets and mentioning very particular areas in his poems, all of which centered around the London area, immediately giving us an idea of where he was located. And that wasn't all. I mentioned how the alias of Stephanie was one that he used more so than any other, but what's interesting is that there was another name used just as often across his account, <laughs> brought up time and time again, hilarious. though it's a name that he never seemed to call any of his characters. Instead, he simply referred to this person as a stepbrother, or a father, or even a friend from school, despite never actually picturing him, just mentioning his name, David. And sure enough, after connecting a few dots, 
it would be revealed that this person's actual name was in fact David, David Alter, with a man being 59 years old. At the moment, it doesn't appear that David has any past criminal convictions or documented history of this behavior, but we do know that thanks to the investigation done on Reddit and Discord, he is currently being investigated by local authorities, which will hopefully put an end to his homicide. Investigated? And Arrest this man! Who this person actually is. As for the time being, the only other information that we really know about David is that he likes to write poetry and he makes music. He makes music? <laughs> And that's really all we have at the moment. Though there is one very important aspect that we have yet to talk about in relation to this man, this with that being David's mental state. Some believe that David is a mentally unwell individual who potentially doesn't know the extent of what they are doing. Now, even if this is the case, his behavior still needs to be stopped, and he needs to be given proper help to assure that no one else gets hurt by his actions. But it is important to note that David is far more intelligent than he lets on, as his personal accounts show us that he is fairly well-spoken and articulate. And throughout his problematic content, most of his bad grammar and strange verbiage seems to be his attempts at more authentically trying to replicate a child. But it's impossible to know for sure. But what we do know is that David is extremely manipulative. With his response to the situation and other clues littered across his accounts, showing us that he seems to know what he's doing, and he knows that it's wrong. Since the exposure of David's accounts, he hasn't silently slithered away like most other predators would. Instead, he's actually responded on more than a few occasions, lashing out to those who have DM'd him, calling them the perverts. And You're wait, wait, what did that say? Bro thinks he can gaslight him. <laughs> God is like, what is he doing? <laughs> He's so like stupid. He even left a comment I mean, this on is, his Joanna It's helpful, I guess, to uh, himself. Build more shit against really him, bad. but this guy is. And if that's your name, David, be fucking honest weird. You're fifty, as you said elsewhere. You're fifty. You reply to me, a girl, as if I'm your buddy. No chance ever. This is something David does. Now he's getting his own accounts. To yo. Does all the time. It's projection, and it started all the way back at the beginning of this rabbit hole. So, that's the account run by... He He's literally self-reporting on himself to make it seem like... Yep. Pretending to be a boy. <laughs> and he continued posting these predator exposés, along with other warnings about predators on the internet, across every page he made each of which being hyper-specific to his own predatory ways and fetishes. The things he accuses others of Close are blatant projections of his own dark He's elements. trying to roleplay both sides, yes. Lie. Number one, that this makes his account look safer to other parents and children. It gives the appearance that he's not another internet creep because he's actively calling them out. It's a way to build trust in order to befriend and exploit kids. And number two, he knows what he's doing is wrong. And this is his bizarre way of self-reporting, probably to make himself feel better about what he's doing. And it's obvious based on just how accurate these claims against others are to him. Does he wish he were a young boy? The pedophile, the pedophile catcher? Well, I don't think he ain't trying to catch school? shit. He's just trying to reprimand yeah. him. Well, act and like he's reprimanding are made him. Over and over again, <sighs> as each time he calls someone out, he's further exposing himself. Which becomes more concerning when you realize that these projections seemingly aren't strictly pedophilic. It's how this user not only wanted to exploit children online, but they wanted to kill them as well. Ah! As he mentions that this user has a clear interest in cannibalizing kids, and even performing ritualistic sacrifices on them. And based on how accurate all of the other exposures are to himself, I have no reason to believe that this isn't part of his MO as well, as crazy as that may sound. This also seems to coincide with some of the content he's posted that Yeah, I everything that he says is pure projection videos, from him. So if he mentions that yeah, somebody else is a freak for doing it, this is what he's aiming to do. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. To give the illusion that they're tied up. Unless he really thinks he's that five head, he's just coming up accounts, with random he's bullshit. He's so, he might be that stupid schools, to think that he is actually intelligent. Trails, no, he's not. Even some where he discusses what time school starts and ends, saying that he likes to be awake and ready for it. There's even photos that show other children outside from a distance, almost as if David was stalking them. This is highly concerning. 
Even if we don't know truly how low this man's perversions get, he is still far too close to children, which is perfectly encapsulated by this photo of him on a school playground during the day. Yeah, I find all the live videos science, where he's walking around near his school the scariest one. Yeah. Which brings us to the final piece of content that I need to talk about. How long ago? This is recent, right? Chasing another boy running in front I mean, they've of recently him. found him, for sure. I have no idea how this long he's been doing it. shown on screen during a short video posted onto one of David's many accounts. And in the video, we see the man pointing the camera at himself, showing his full face of white makeup and red lipstick. Who is this camera following? Where did it go? This video is edited more egregiously than any others I've seen across his page, with multiple explicit images and huge emojis covering the majority of the screen. Though just barely enough of the footage can be seen, that shows David as he turns the camera around, revealing a young boy. This is just not right. <laughs> Who he then proceeds to chase after, giggling all the while. Whether this was an edited video or a real occurrence, we don't currently know. David's doings are a mystery. Yeah, that's that the most fucked video of the whole thing. It. But at this point, only one thing is for sure. The story of Smart Schoolboy 9 is far from over. <laughs>